The year was 1907. The Southern Railroad needed a location central to all of its operations to produce a variety of products such as baggage carts, lever cars, and an assortment of track components. The Charlotte Roadway Shop was born. The shop was also used to salvage and repair part of the railroad's track equipment. As the availability of raw materials dwindled during World War II, it took real ingenuity to ensure continuation of railway maintenance. That was just the beginning of a reputation for technological innovation and safety that the shop still enjoys to this day. All types of used track components were shipped to Charlotte for reclamation until the storehouse inventory was bulging with some 15,000 different items. With the growing need for new, more productive equipment, a special engineering and research department was established in Charlotte in 1971. It was given the task of designing new equipment, facilities, and work techniques. In 1982, when the Southern and the Norfolk and Western Railways merged, the maintenance equipment groups of the two railways were consolidated and headquartered at the Charlotte shop. As the railway grew, greater efficiency, productivity, and safety could only be achieved if the manual maintenance system became mechanized. The combined talent and skills of the engineering section and the shop employees met the challenge. Using high-tech methods and materials such as sophisticated electronics, hydraulics, and computers, the engineers developed designs that would increase productivity, improve safety, and be cost-efficient. In 1991, a new heavy repair shop, paint shop, cleaning room, and waste treatment plant were added to meet the increasing workload. The Charlotte Roadway shop now consists of eight acres of land, 81,000 square feet of manufacturing and repair facilities, consisting of two heavy repair shops and one component shop, 25,000 square feet of warehouse, 6,000 square feet of office space, and over 140 employees including blacksmiths, carmen, electricians, machinists, and pipe fitters. The shop's primary function is to overhaul and repair maintenance equipment and associated components. Approximately 60 machines and 12,000 parts are repaired or manufactured here each year. At the Charlotte Roadway shop, as with any heavy manufacturing operation, safety is important. So a lot of emphasis has always been placed on safety. job is so important, no service is so urgent that we cannot take the time to perform our work safely. If you're serious about safety and preventing incidents and injuries, you have to be serious about it every day. The Roadway Shop is. I am responsible for safety and each one who works here is responsible for safety. I feel that, you know, when we do come to work each day that we're going to, re you know, return home safely because there's just no reason in this shop for, for you not to uh, be able to do that because everything is here that you could possibly want in order to do your job. And if you know of something that isn't here and you bring it up, um, they will attain it for you. Hey, yes. What if we had some kind of rack so I would have to get out and pull these things around to get that dog up under there? It's a lot easier job, a lot safer. That sounds like a good good idea, Dave. We need to look into that. You talking about setting a vertical in a rack or something? Yeah, some kind of rack where I can put four or five. You know, like I say, I've never asked for anything for safety why it's on a job that I didn't get, you know. From July to July 95, July 95 to July of 96, uh, we went with zero incidents and zero injuries. Uh, as far as I know, it's the first time the shop has ever done that, uh, and these men are to be highly commended for that.
Through innovation and new technology, the Roadway Shop has developed and continues to develop safer and more productive equipment for our field forces. One of our most recent designs is a new brush cutter. This new machine is faster and more powerful than our old cutters and can cut to closer tolerances. It doesn't throw chips and debris as the old cutter had a tendency to do. Therefore, it is safer for our people as well as cars and pedestrians where our tracks are close to roads. Our old ballast regulators expose the operators to a lot of dust and heat in the summer and dust and cold in the winter and the operator had to lean out of the cockpit in order to see what he was doing. Better ergonomic design as well as twin joystick controls incorporated in our new regulators allow the operator a full field of view and he now works in an enclosed cabin with heat and air conditioning. One of the primary components for laying track, the spike, has not changed much over the years but our method of driving them has certainly gotten better. The same can be said for pulling spikes. The old puller had a heavy steel pulling mechanism that had to be manually attached to the spike head. Then a steel arm shot up striking it to remove the spike. This steel to steel contact was risky at best. Our new spike pullers operate using hydraulics to remove the spikes quickly and efficiently, obviously a much safer operation. Manual track jacking and hand tamping have been replaced with mechanized tampers that clamp and lift the track hydraulically while tamping heads penetrate and compact the ballast under the ties. Manual rail handling has been replaced with cranes that are safer and can do the job much quicker. Our old rail processing equipment used cables and pulleys to position the rail. The operation was dangerous and required lots of heavy lifting. The men had to lift a 100-pound rail block by hand and secure it by driving wedges. A newly designed machine, affectionately called the Buffalo, pushes or pulls a quarter-mile section of rail so it can be laid around curves. The quarter-mile-long strings of rail are held by hydraulic clamps and positioned by hydraulic cylinders. The operator now precisely positions rail without ever having to leave the cab. Once the rail is positioned, it is welded later in the rail laying process. Until recently, a thermite welding process was used. This required several men and was hazardous because the well was produced by a flash fire. Using this method, a proficient crew could produce nine to 10 wells per day. Using the new inline flash butt welder, the welding is completely enclosed, which eliminates the possibility of someone getting burned. 40 wells per day are now consistently produced with no inclusions, which means there's less chance of a rail breaking and causing a derailment. In the past, when ties had to be replaced, it was a labor-intense operation where a cable had to be secured to the tie manually. Any time a cable is handled manually, there is an element of danger. Now, the rail is lifted, the old tie is removed, and the replacement tie is inserted without ever being touched by human hands. Placing tie plates has always been a manual process. Currently, a prototype machine is being tested that will eliminate handling the plates. Another innovative design that has caused many an onlooker to do a double take is our radio-controlled track broom. Using the old double track broom was a dirty, dusty job. Now the broom appears to operate by itself because the operator is away from the dust clouds and operates the broom by remote control. Whenever there has been a need, the engineering group at the Charlotte Roadway shop has met it. They've used innovation coupled with the latest materials and technology to provide us with designs that are safer, more efficient, and will carry us well into the future. The shop personnel, with a conscientious dedication to safety, forward thinking, and a generous amount of good common sense builds, repairs, and upgrades these machines. Before 1980, Norfolk Southern made its spring frogs at the Charlotte Roadway shop. When space was needed for expansion in Charlotte, the frog shop was moved to its current location in Birmingham. Utilizing a computerized milling machine, the Birmingham Frog Shop manufactures spring frogs. The brain of the milling machine is a computer which contains various programs for making each part. A control panel tells the operator the status of the machine. 
the milling tools, and the part being made. The Birmingham Frog Shop is one of the most state-of-the-art manufacturing facilities of its type anywhere. The advanced technology of the automated milling line allows the versatility to manufacture a wide variety of parts with very quick change over times between products. The products that can be made here are basically limited only by one's imagination. The Frog Shop's highly skilled personnel now produce more parts more accurately in less time and for less cost than was ever before possible. A reliable track structure is essential for Norfolk Southern to remain a leader in the transportation market. Realizing long ago that a strong physical plant consisting of quality track and bridges is not only essential for safe, reliable, and efficient operations, but is also less expensive to maintain over time. Norfolk Southern made a commitment to having only the best people, working with modern, innovative equipment in the safest possible environment. At the heart of this commitment to a strong track structure are highly mobile, highly mechanized, state-of-the-art system gangs. These gangs replace approximately 1.7 million cross ties, lay approximately 280 miles of rail, and resurface approximately 1,650 miles of track each year. This productivity is made possible by the maintenance equipment repairmen, who maintain and repair the highly specialized equipment used by our production forces. The repairmen in the line maintenance area maintain and repair various pieces of equipment assigned to division forces. These include tampers, ballast regulators, spikers, and various construction-type equipment. Norfolk Southern operates a one-stop storage, blending, and transloading facility at Wheelersburg, Ohio for its barge, truck, and rail service coal customers. All of the equipment used in this operation is maintained and repaired by maintenance equipment department supervisors and repairmen. The Maintenance Equipment Department is also responsible for maintaining and repairing camp cars and housing trailers utilized by production and line maintenance forces. Together with management, the Maintenance Equipment Department personnel make up a dedicated support team that's helping Norfolk Southern remain the safest, most efficient transportation company in the world. <laughs>